welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon TBR. So I have, this will be the first time that I ever participate in Booktubeathon because I didn't have my channel um, last year when it came around. So I'm really, really excited to do so. Um, Booktubeathon was created by Ariel Bassett. There is a Booktubeathon channel um, on YouTube specifically, so I will link that down below. Make sure you guys go subscribe and check it out. Um, so Booktubeathon takes place between July 24th and July 30th, so it's, it's a week-long Booktubeathon. It will start at 11.59 wherever you are, so, you know, 11.59 on the 24th, that's, that's the day you're going to start. Um, so there are seven challenges, um, which I'm going to go through in a minute. There are also going to be Twitter sprints, um, author spotlights, and then there will also be video and Instagram challenges, I believe, every day. And all of that you can check out on the Booktubeathon channel, so make sure you go check it out. Because um, I don't know what those are off the top of my head, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, participate in the video challenges, um, but I do want to participate in the Booktubeathon. So... Without further ado, let's just get into it. The first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover. So for this, I decided to read Royally Screwed by Emma Chase. This is has a man on the cover. A pretty attractive one, if I don't say so myself, but a man is on the cover. And it's kind of short. I just bought this recently. Um, it's just your typical romance. Um, I think this, he's a prince or he's some kind of royal, royalty and it's like about his life and his conquest and what he goes through. So there's that. Challenge number two is to read a hype book. So for that I decided to read Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I've had this book for a long time and it does look pretty hefty especially for a readathon but if you don't know which I don't know how you couldn't by now but if you don't know it's all mixed media so it's a pretty fast read I've heard and I've been meaning to pick it up for a long time and this book is super hyped so hopefully it lives up to it which I'm sure it will. The third challenge is to finish a book in one day, and for that I chose Ferris by Marissa Meyer. Um, this is Queen Lavana's story. I've been meaning to pick this up for quite some time now. I keep saying I'm going to read it, so I figured why not pick it up during this booktubeathon. It's super short. I should be able to get through it in no time. Challenge number four is to read a book, The Character That Is Different From You. So for that, I chose To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This follows a Korean-American girl, which obviously is different from me. So I'm really excited to read this. This book has been um, super hyped by BookTube. Everyone seems to love it, and I've never picked it up, so here I figured I would pick it up. Challenge five is to read a book completely outdoors, and for that I chose The Grown Up by Jillian Flynn. This is a super short book, so it's great for a readathon. Plus, where I'm, where I live, it is super hot and humid lately, and I just don't know how much I'm good, how long I'm going to be able to sit outside to read. So, I figured I'd pick a short one. Challenge number six is to read a book you bought because of the cover, and that would be A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Caballero. Um, this cover is so pretty, and I was completely drawn to it, um, and I've had it on my shelf for a while. It's actually a Sherlock Holmes retelling, and I believe um, both uh, Watson and Holmes are female in this novel, so that's a really cool, um, and I'm glad I picked it up because of the cover, because it sounds like a really good book, and I can't wait to get to it. And then the final challenge, challenge seven, is to read seven books. So the seventh book I chose is Between the Skies by Joanne O'Sullivan, and this follows a 16-year-old girl who lives in a very small town in Louisiana, and life seems to be going okay for her, and then the storm hits. And I believe, it just says the storm here in the book, but I believe the storm it's referring to is Hurricane Katrina, and if you guys don't know, you know, 2012, I believe, was when that happened. If I misspoke, I apologize, but it, you know, it destroyed Louisiana, and so many people lost so much, um... And it was devastating um, so yeah this follows her story and I think it says something in here about yeah so the novel asks compelling questions about class and politics exile and belonging and the pain of being cast out of your home it's it's gonna invoke some thoughts and emotions and I am really really excited to get to it I've heard amazing things about it so can't wait to pick it up so those are the seven books that I plan on 
reading uh, for Booktubeathon. You guys know I'm a slow reader, so I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but I am going to get to as many as I can next week. Um, let me know down below what you guys plan on doing. If you're planning on participating, if you created a video or a blog post, link it down below so I can check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to also follow me on Goodreads and Twitter. You can find my handles down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.